Let's play Fahrenheit. Get ready, fellas. Another episode of Let's Play Fahrenheit. This man I'd barely seen on TV was my last hope. I didn't know what connection there could be between the Mayans and what had happened to me, but at that point, I was ready to accept any explanation that could make sense out of the nightmare that my life had become. Hello, uh, I'm a journalist, and I have an appointment with Professor Kiryakin. The professor's waiting for you. And they doesn't notice him. Or polychrome tripod seat. Origin Mexico. Hmm. I smell bonus, yes. That, that was not uh that was not what I wanted to do. I feminine figurine found was, on the Pacific uh, coast Cardi of Guatemala. That was really fun. Solid gold chalices it was and there. plates, probably used during sacrifice ceremonies, from Compeche. Compeche. Facade of sacrificial temple, origin Yucatan. Bro. Nice ship. Circular altar that was probably used in sacrifices. Early post classical period. Stone stele from Palenque. Post classical period. This fresco. A two headed serpent. The same shape that I carved on my forearms the night of the murder. Head of statue representing Itzama, discovered in Chiapas. Well, well, well. Why can I look at this picture, man? What? No, it's quite interesting. Professor Kiryakin? Yes. My name's John Cunningham. We spoke Watching on the phone. I'm a journalist, and I'm gathering information for an article I'm writing about the Mayan religion. Ah, yes, I've been waiting for you, young man. What, um, what paper did you say you write for once again? Um, a mom printed. Uh, in fact, I'm a freelance journalist. I write articles and sell them to whoever wants to publish them. It's, uh, it's curious, but your face seems familiar to me. Oh no, he knows. Have we met somewhere before? Uh, no. Yeah, I get that a lot. Uh, I guess I must have one of those boring faces everybody sees everywhere. <laughs> well then, let's uh, have a go at it. <laughs> what you like to <coughs> Can you tell me anything about Kwekhnitlan? Kwekhnitlan. Come, I'll introduce you. <clears throat> what is this, some kind of god or what? Bro, this is real nice art design. Look at that, man. Real nice. You see before you the ancient Mayan god Quechnitlan, wow. the serpent with the two heads. One head sees in this reality, the second in the other world. By opening both mouths, the Mayan oracles could see through the serpent into the other world. The other world? Could you explain this other world? Oh, the world beyond our own. What did you mean? Of other the world. And the dead. The Mayans believed that human sacrifices allowed them to hear the voices of the deceased and see into the future. Uh-huh. 
What exactly do we know about these oracles? Oh, not very much. <laughs> they were very mysterious. They served as mystic liaisons, allowing man to connect with supernatural forces. If we can believe the ancient texts, the oracles possessed strange powers. What kind of powers did the oracles possess? Some passages mention a supernatural life force, permitting the Oracle to live for several hundred years. What the fuck? Tell me, how did the sacrificial ceremony work? Come, I'll show you. Uh, you mean in a metaphorical type of way, I guess? Or... This painting dating from the first century <clears throat> shows a sacrificial <clears throat> ceremony. The victim's agony must have lasted quite some time. The priority being to keep the mouths open as long as possible. The victim was stabbed three times, each wound cutting a pulmonary artery leading to the heart. The Oracle is not the one stabbing the victim? Oh, the Oracle must never soil himself with the blood of another. That is why he chooses a sort of proxy, another person in the crowd, totally at random. This person becomes the Executor. The Oracle executor. takes complete control of the Executor, manipulating him from a distance. What happened to the Executor after the sacrifice? He went mad and committed suicide after accomplishing his part of the ritual. A Mayan sacrifice. That's what it was. The music. You aren't a journalist, are you? Mm. Who are you? Uh... My name is Lucas Kane. The police are looking for me about a murder that I did not commit, but I was the executor. You're a murderer? <clears throat> I'm innocent. I stabbed someone I'd never seen before three times, cutting his arteries, just like you described. Do you mean to say that there is a Mayan oracle still living today? <laughs> but that's completely impossible. Mm, Have you ever seen this symbol before? Oh, it's the symbol of Quetnitlan. The executors cut this into their own forearms before accomplishing the sacrifice. So, it is true. My God, the Codex was right. The Codex? What are you talking about, Professor? You can't stay here. Your picture is in the paper that the security guard is reading. He's sure to recognize you. Come, let's leave here, and I'll tell you all about it. You're such a nice boy, and I love this music. It's so amazing, it's so tense and raw. Quite, quite a good guy. Thank you for your help, Professor. What? I? Are you kidding me? What, what, wait, wait a second. What, 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 why? What the fuck happened? Oh my... I... Ah, fuck you game. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you game. Uh... Oh my... You kidding me, man? Oh my gosh, oh my goodness! Like out of nowhere something like that happens. That's... What the... Actual... Fuck! Bro!
story ends. Are you kidding me, bro? What, what the fuck happened? Thank you for your help, Professor. Oh, thank you. Me. He's dead because we pushed him away to rescue him. That is what? Man, this game it becomes more and more odd. What? What? What the actual fuck, man? Ah, there you are. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Few men are capable of resisting an oracle. What is what? there so different about you? Oh man, my oh, controller's man. empty. You have the chroma, so that explains it. How did you ever acquire such a power? No matter. What matters is, the time has come for you to die. Eh, uh, what? The chroma? What does that mean? The force that created the universe. The origin of everything. It gives extraordinary powers to those who possess it. Well, that ex explains something. Why me? Why choose me? Pure chance. The executor is always taken from the crowd. It's a great honor for you to be chosen to serve Kretniklan. <laughs> Enough talk. Other matters await my attention. We will see each other again. In the other world. And... What the fuck, man? Uh, give me a break, please. Oh my god, this game is so fucking... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Oof. We're still in there. Oh god, 
thing. Lucas, those who employ the Oracle are searching for a little girl, a perfectly pure soul that's never been incarnated. Her coming was foretold by the most ancient prophecy in human history. She's the one you see in your dreams. You must find her before the Oracle does and put her someplace safe. Hurry, there isn't much time and they are already back on your trail. This game is so awkward. I must inform what? you that we are unhappy. Very unhappy. He has escaped you again. First in the museum lot. A big mistake, the museum lot. And then in the wave. What's worse, you showed yourself openly to him. And all for nothing. It's just... I was unaware of certain factors, my lords. Which factors? He possesses the Chroma. That's impossible. Idiocy! How could he possess the Chroma? I know not. But it is a certainty that he does. This is how he resisted my psychic attacks and successfully evaded the police. This could force us to change our plans. This is serious. Very serious. That is not all. Someone has intervened. What do you mean? While you were with him in the wave? Yes, my lord. Someone brushed aside all of my attacks on Cain and protected him. It was not one of ours. Certainly not. No. I think it was something else. Its chroma was... different. Another clan? That's impossible. Only we are left. We have a rival. Who searches for the Indigo child as we do. They must not find the child. That would be a catastrophe. A disaster. Cain is on their side. Unless they are just using him. He is the key. He sees through our eyes. He must not find the child. You must deal with this problem. Definitively. I have already taken measures. He will be definitively dealt with. And soon. Do not disappoint us. You may leave us. Bruh. The Oracle is in Marcus's church. There's not a moment to lose. I've got to warn him or he's dead. Uh, we should wait. Uh, Backup will be here any minute now. No way. This time I'm gonna get him. The desk guy swore to us that he was in his room, and he's not gonna get away. I hope that guy didn't screw up when he said he recognized Kane's photo from the papers. He looked so blind he wouldn't recognize his own mother in a phone booth. <laughs> we'll find the answer in room 369. <laughs> oh my, excuse me. Uh, yeah, get the fuck up. And uh, we can turn on the tree, I can. Pick up, Marcus, pick up. Hello, my son. I'll be with you in just a minute. I just need to answer the telephone. Marcus, he's in the church. Don't let him get anywhere near you. Lucas? Is that you, Lucas? What's going on? I don't have time to explain, Marcus. Run, right now. Shut the doors and lock them tight. I'm begging you, just, just do what I say. Oh, come now, Lucas. Just do it, now! All right. 
right. I'm locked in. Now, can you explain what's going on? Call the police, and don't come out until they get there. Lucas? 369. Here it is. Can we get a bonus or something like that? Well, of course not. Eh? No point in going any further. Kane is on this floor. Okay. Yeah. Nobody move! <laughs> Either he's gone through some changes since the photo, or this is not him. Shit! What the hell happened? <laughs> Calm down, girl. I think there's been a slight misunderstanding. Tyler, it was the wrong room. Bro, this game's so There must be another room 369 down the hall somewhere. Oh my god. What happens to the best police? Um, it's the wrong room number. The wrong number. I think the bird has flown the coop. I'm gonna find him, Tyler. I promise you. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> I'm getting a micro. <laughs> no way. No way. Lucas, you have to come over right now. What? You must realize now that I am not joking. So please, don't delay. Motherfucking bitch! Well, this looks inviting. I'm moving towards my death. Everything that I've been through since the second I entered that diner, all of it was leading me to this moment. I was tired of fighting, running and hiding all the time. I was losing anyway. There was only one thing left to do. Try to save Tiffany's life. After that, oh, I decided not to I remember something. Anymore. I remember something. I I remember this plateau. Um, Tiffany, here's some she's at the top of hidden light you can get. I have to find I a remember way that. Yeah, I remember that. Can we get out of bounds? No, we just touch this stuff. All right. Uh, just there's bonus anywhere somewhere hidden. Uh, yeah, he looks familiar. Ah, uh, I guess that is... He has the scar, that is the guy. Oh, the bonus? That is that guy, man. The scar, he, he has the same scar. Uh, okay, we have to get in the house. Um, yeah, I remember, I remember that. I remember that. And when we're on top, we have to um, balance, balance a little bit. I don't know why I remember that, because when I did it the first time, it just was so fucking intense, man. Look at his face, man. Yo, bro, that's ridiculous. Go away, Lucas! It's a trap! They're gonna kill you! 
they gonna kill me? Yeah, I remember that shit. Oh no, man. It's like, um, it's like Talos breath. Oh, I fucked it up. First try, fucked it up. And that's how my story ends. Official. Okay. We're next, bro. We got it. Oh no, double tap, but not too fast. Either way, we gon' die. Oh, not, not too fast, not too fast. Cool down, cool down, cool down. Oh man, that's too fast, that's too fast. Almost done, it's almost done. Chill bro, chill. It's almost done. Don't fuck it. Oh, yeah, alright. Enjoy your ride to the upper world. You kidding me, bro? What the? What? Bro, that's the same guy.